You won't believe this, Sonny, but you're lucky we got you clear of her quick as we did. You've been a lot... The last picture was a groundbreaking television show, gaining numerous views and sparking various opinions. Its impact is such that it is now considered one of the most legendary series to ever grace the small screen. However, a single scene almost brought down its success. In this script, we will examine the details of this controversial scene and provide an overview of the show. The Last Picture was a popular and critically acclaimed series, but it faced controversy due to a particular scene. Despite this setback, it remains a legendary show, and we will discuss the scene's impact on the series. Before we delve into the scene, let's first talk about the show itself and its significance. The Last Picture was a highly regarded television show, known for its gripping storyline and memorable characters. However, it faced a significant challenge when one scene became the center of controversy. Although this scene caused a stir, the show's overall impact remains unforgettable. In this script, we will explore the show's background and delve into the details of this controversial scene. The Last Picture was a beloved TV series, famous for its compelling narrative and well-developed characters. However, a single scene threatened to overshadow its success. In this script, we will discuss the show's legacy and examine the contentious scene that almost derailed its popularity. Thank you for considering this introduction. I hope it meets your expectations and I look forward to your feedback. The Last Picture Show is a 1971 American drama film directed by Peter Bogdanovich. The movie is set in a small North Texas town named Anarin in the early 1950s. The film captures the essence of secrets, high emotions, and the struggles of the town's teenagers as they navigate through their final years of high school. The film's main characters include Sonny Crawford, played by Timothy Bottoms and Dwayne Jackson, portrayed by Jeff Bridges. The two friends are faced with the challenges of growing up in a town where opportunities are limited and secrets are plenty. They also have to deal with the complexities of relationships, love, and heartbreak. The film's supporting characters add depth and color to the story. Sybil Shepard plays J.C. Farrow, a wealthy and popular girl who is dating Dwayne, but has her eyes set on a more prosperous future. Cloris Leachman delivers a heart-wrenching performance as Ruth Popper, the wife of the football coach, who finds solace in an unexpected friendship with Sonny. Ben Johnson, who won an Oscar for his role, plays Sam the Lion, the owner of the town's pool hall and movie theater, who serves as a father figure to Sonny and Dwayne. The film's black and white cinematography adds a sense of nostalgia and realism to the story. The movie theater, which is the last remaining picture show in town, serves as a symbol of a bygone era and the changing times. The film score, which features country and western music, complements the story's setting and mood. The Last Picture Show is a coming-of-age tale that explores themes of love, loss, and the harsh realities of growing up in a small town. The film's characters are complex and flawed, making them relatable and memorable. The film's setting and cinematography create a vivid and authentic portrayal of life in a small North Texas town in the 1950s. Overall, The Last Picture Show is a timeless classic that continues to resonate with audiences today. Me and this young lady was pretty wild, I guess. The Last Picture Show is a 1971 movie directed and co-written by Peter Bogdanovich. This film is an adaptation of Larry McMurtry's 1966 novel of the same name. Set in a small, dying town in Texas, the film explores the lives of high school seniors Sonny and Duane as they navigate through their last year in school and face the harsh realities of adulthood. Bogdanovich, known for his keen eye for detail and character development, brought McMurtry's novel to life on the big screen. He worked closely with the novelist to ensure that the adaptation remained faithful to the source material while also adding his own unique touch to the storytelling. The film's setting, a small, desolate town in Texas, serves as a backdrop for the character's struggles and desires. The stark, barren landscape reflects the character's own sense of isolation and the lack of opportunities available to them. Despite the bleak setting, the film is filled with rich, complex characters who are struggling to find their place in the world. The Last Picture Show is a coming-of-age story that explores themes of love, friendship, loyalty, and the harsh realities of growing up. The film's characters are flawed and relatable, and their struggles and desires are universal. Through its nuanced portrayal of small-town life, the film offers a poignant and timeless exploration of the human condition. 
Bogdanovich's direction and co-writing of The Last Picture Show, along with the source material provided by McMurtry's novel, resulted in a film that has endured as a classic of American cinema. Its exploration of the human condition and its unforgettable characters continue to resonate with audiences today. The Last Picture Show is a 1971 movie directed by Peter Bogdanovich, set in a small Texas town during the early 1950s. The plot follows the lives of two high school seniors, Sonny Crawford and Dwayne Jackson, portrayed by Timothy Bottoms and Jeff Bridges respectively, as they navigate their way through a year of love, loss, and personal growth. Sonny is a thoughtful and introspective young man, while Dwayne is more outgoing and athletic. They are best friends, but their relationship is tested when both become romantically involved with the same woman J.C. Farrow, played by Sybil Shepard in her film debut. J.C. is a beautiful and popular girl who is used to getting what she wants, and she leads both boys on, causing tension and heartache. The film explores the themes of growing up, the passage of time, and the changing social landscape of America during the 1950s. The small town of Anarin, Texas, where the story is set, is shown as a place where traditions are cherished, but also where the old ways are giving way to new ones. This is reflected in the characters of Sonny and Duane, who are torn between their loyalty to their hometown and their desire to leave and experience the wider world. The film is also notable for its stark and realistic depiction of small town life with its dusty streets, rundown buildings, and struggling businesses. The cinematography is stark and evocative, capturing the harsh beauty of the Texas landscape and the quiet desperation of the people who live there. The performances of the three leads are outstanding, with Timothy Bottoms and Jeff Bridges both giving nuanced and convincing performances as the troubled young men, and Sybil Shepard making an impressive film debut as the manipulative and seductive J.C. In conclusion, The Last Picture Show is a powerful and moving film that explores the complexities of growing up, friendship, and love in a changing world. With its stark and evocative cinematography and its outstanding performances, it is a film that has left a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. I ain't very hungry. Oh, I am. So you want to pick up first tonight? Nah. I'll be here first ever Saturday night. The Last Picture Show, a 1971 film, is known for its black and white cinematography, which adds to its allure and mystery. This stylistic choice contributes significantly to the film's overall impact, setting it apart from color films of the same era. The monochrome visuals create a timeless quality, making the film feel as if it could belong to any decade. This aesthetic choice also enhances the film's ability to convey a range of emotions, from the harsh realities of life to the subtle nuances of relationships. The cinematography is not just a tool for storytelling, it is an integral part of the narrative itself, helping to shape the audience's perception and understanding of the characters and their circumstances. The choice of black and white over color is a testament to the film's commitment to authenticity and its ability to convey complex themes through a simple yet powerful visual language. The Last Picture Show, a 1971 movie, boasts a soundtrack that is hard to forget. The film's music supervisors did an excellent job in curating a selection of songs that perfectly complement the movie's themes of loss, love, and growing up. The soundtrack features haunting melodies by Hank Williams, among other artists, that add depth and emotion to the scenes. Hank Williams, a legendary country music singer-songwriter, is well represented in the film's soundtrack. His songs, such as Cold Cold Heart and Why Don't You Love Me, evoke a sense of longing and heartache that resonates with the character's struggles. The use of his music in the film is strategic, as it underscores the raw emotions that the characters experience throughout the story. Other artists featured in the soundtrack include Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys, who perform the upbeat San Antonio Rose. This song provides a contrast to the melancholic tunes of Hank Williams, adding a touch of levity to the otherwise heavy narrative. The soundtrack also features traditional Mexican music, which reflects the film's setting in a small Texas town. The Last Picture Show soundtrack is not just a collection of songs, but a character in itself. The music enhances the movie's narrative and adds another layer of meaning to the scenes. The haunting melodies of Hank Williams and the upbeat tunes of Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys create a soundscape that is both nostalgic and timeless. The soundtrack is a testament to the power of music in storytelling, 
and a reminder of the enduring appeal of classic country and Western music. In conclusion, the last picture show's soundtrack is a standout element of the film. The thoughtful selection of songs and their strategic use throughout the narrative create a powerful emotional experience for the audience. The haunting melodies of Hank Williams and the upbeat tunes of Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys make for a memorable soundtrack that adds depth and richness to the movie's themes of love, loss, and growing up. The Last Picture Show, a 1971 movie directed by Peter Bogdanovich, received eight Academy Award nominations in various categories, which is a significant recognition for any film. Out of these eight nominations, the movie went on to win two prestigious awards. Ben Johnson, who played the role of Sam, the Lion, won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Johnson's portrayal of the aging and respected cattle rancher and pool hall owner was widely praised for its authenticity and depth. His performance resonated with audiences and critics alike, earning him the recognition he deserved. Cloris Leachman, who played the role of Ruth Popper, won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Leachman's portrayal of the unhappily married and disillusioned wife of the high school football coach was a standout performance in the film. Her nuanced and powerful acting brought depth and complexity to the character, making her a deserving winner of the award. The last picture shows eight Academy Award nominations, and two wins are a testament to the film's quality and impact on the movie industry. The movie's exploration of themes such as aging, loneliness, and the loss of innocence continue to resonate with audiences today, making it a timeless classic. The Last Picture Show, a 1971 movie directed by Peter Bogdanovich, holds cultural significance as it was selected for preservation in the National Film Registry by the United States Library of Congress in 1998. This recognition underscores the film's importance in American cinema and its enduring value for future generations. Set in a small, fading Texas town during the early 1950s, The Last Picture Show explores the lives of high school seniors and townsfolk as they navigate love, loss, and the harsh realities of life. Through relatable characters and authentic storytelling, the film captures the spirit of a bygone era, offering a poignant reflection on the passage of time and the changes it brings. The Last Picture Show's impact extends beyond its narrative as it also marks a pivotal moment in American cinema. The film's black and white cinematography, inspired by Italian neorealism, evokes a sense of nostalgia and authenticity that resonates with viewers. Moreover, the movie launched the careers of its young actors, including Sybil Shepard, Jeff Bridges, and Timothy Bottoms, while also highlighting the talents of veteran actors such as Ben Johnson and Cloris Leachman, who both received Academy Awards for their performances. In summary, The Last Picture Show's cultural significance lies in its powerful storytelling, authentic depiction of a bygone era, and its influence on American cinema. Its preservation in the National Film Registry ensures that future generations can appreciate this timeless classic and the valuable insights it provides into the human experience. The idea for the film The Last Picture Show came to Peter Bogdanovich in 1968. He was inspired by the novel of the same name and discussions with actor Sal Minio and his wife Polly Platt. Bogdanovich was drawn to the story's depiction of small town life and the coming of age of its young characters. The film is set in a small, dying town in Texas and follows the lives of its teenage residents as they navigate the challenges of growing up. The story is a nostalgic look back at a bygone era and the film's black and white cinematography adds to its sense of timelessness. Bogdanovich was able to assemble a talented cast for the film, including Jeff Bridges, Sybil Shepard, and Ben Johnson. Johnson's performance as the town's coach earned him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. The film was a critical and commercial success, and it has endured as a classic of American cinema. Its depiction of small town life and the struggles of its young characters continue to resonate with audiences today. The Last Picture Show marked a significant milestone in Bogdanovich's career, and it established him as a talented director and storyteller. The film's success allowed him to go on to direct other notable films, such as What's Up Doc and Paper Moon. Overall, The Last Picture Show is a powerful and moving film that explores the complexities of growing up in a small town. It is a testament to Bogdanovich's skill as a director and the talent of its cast, 
and it is a film that continues to be cherished by audiences today. I guess you heard about the last one. His folks were going to Miami and everybody swam naked. Yeah. His folks are going to... Peter Bogdanovich's decision to shoot the last picture show in black and white was influenced by a conversation with Orson Welles. This choice added a timeless elegance to the film, making it feel both classic and contemporary. The use of black and white also helped to emphasize the stark contrast between the characters and their environments, highlighting the themes of isolation, loneliness, and the passing of time. Bogdanovich's attention to detail in the production choices was evident throughout the film. He carefully selected the locations, costumes, and props to create a realistic and immersive depiction of small town Texas in the 1950s. The choice of music, which featured classic country and western tunes, also added to the film's authenticity and helped to establish the setting and the mood. The cinematography in the last picture show was also a key aspect of the production choices. The use of wide-angle lenses, long takes, and deep focus helped to create a sense of space and depth, making the small town of Anarin feel vast and expansive. The use of natural light and shadow also added to the film's timeless and classic feel. In addition to the technical aspects of the production, Bogdanovich also made some notable casting choices. He cast a number of relatively unknown actors in the lead roles, including Jeff Bridges, Timothy Bottoms, and Sybil Shepard. This helped to give the film a sense of authenticity, as the actors were able to fully inhabit their characters and bring them to life. Overall, Bogdanovich's production choices for The Last Picture Show were instrumental in creating a film that feels both timeless and of its time. The use of black and white attention to detail and careful casting all contributed to the film's enduring success and its status as a classic of American cinema. She's going to marry me one of these days when I get a little Why bit more she money. Won't marry sure, she will. We always meant to get married. She's going off the... the Last Picture Show, a classic film from 1971, was shot in Larry McMurtry's hometown in North Texas, which was renamed Anarin for the movie. The choice of location was significant as it provided the perfect backdrop for the story, allowing the film to capture the essence of a small town in the 1950s. Anarin is a sleepy town where everyone knows each other and life is simple. The film's setting is authentic and the town's personality is as much a character in the story as any of the actors. The location is beautifully shot with wide open spaces and dusty roads that seem to stretch on forever. The film explores the lives of the town's young people as they come of age, face challenges, and experience heartbreak. The story is set in a time when drive-in movies were still a popular form of entertainment, and the town's movie theater serves as a symbol of a bygone era. The Last Picture Show is a timeless story of love, loss, and the complexities of growing up. The location adds to the film's charm, making it an unforgettable cinematic experience. The town's simplicity and authenticity provide a stark contrast to the characters' struggles and emotions, making the story all the more poignant. In conclusion, the location of the last picture show plays a vital role in the film's success. The small town of Anarin is beautifully captured, providing a nostalgic and authentic backdrop for the story. The location adds depth and richness to the film, making it a classic that continues to resonate with audiences today. Now we oughtn't let him die a virgin. Yeah. Mama says idiot kids don't live long. Peter Bogdanovich, the director of The Last Picture Show, took on the task of editing the film himself. However, due to guild rules, he was required to credit Don Cameron as the film's editor. Bogdanovich had a specific vision for the film and wanted to have full control over the editing process to ensure that his vision was realized on screen. He spent countless hours in the editing room, meticulously crafting each scene to perfection. Despite being required to give credit to Cameron, Bogdanovich was the driving force behind the film's editing process. His dedication to the project and attention to detail can be seen in every frame of the film. The editing of The Last Picture Show was a crucial component in bringing the story to life. Bogdanovich's ability to craft a compelling narrative through editing helped to make the film the classic that it is today. Through his work on The Last Picture Show, Bogdanovich established himself as a talented filmmaker and editor. His dedication to his craft and ability to bring a story to life on screen have left a lasting impact on the film industry. In the end, while Don Cameron may have received credit for editing The Last Picture Show, it was Peter Bogdanovich's vision and dedication that truly brought the film to life. Looking for Sam, I'd just about have missed it, whatever it is. 
The 1971 movie The Last Picture Show encountered controversy due to a specific scene involving Sybil Shepard's character, J.C. Farrow's skinny dipping. This scene was considered obscene and subsequently banned in Phoenix, Arizona. The film, directed by Peter Bogdanovich, is a coming-of-age story set in a small, dying town in Texas during the early 1950s. The controversy surrounding the skinny dipping scene added to the film's notoriety and sparked discussions about censorship and the depiction of nudity in cinema. Despite the backlash, The Last Picture Show received eight Academy Award nominations and is now regarded as a classic American film. Hey! How about that? The 1971 movie, The Last Picture Show, received various reactions from the public and legal entities due to its explicit content. The film, directed by Peter Bogdanovich, was initially banned in several regions due to its portrayal of nudity and adult themes. However, this ban led to a significant legal development. A federal court ruling in favor of the film's artistic merit highlighted the struggle it faced with censorship in different regions. The court's decision recognized the film as a work of art, thereby protecting it from arbitrary censorship. This ruling emphasized the importance of context and artistic expression over literal interpretation of explicit content. It was a significant victory for filmmakers and artists affirming their right to create and share meaningful work without undue interference. The Last Picture Show also sparked public discussions about censorship and the role of art in society. Some praised the film for its honest portrayal of small town life, while others criticized it for its explicit content. Despite the controversy, the film remained a significant work of American cinema, showcasing the complexities and struggles of growing up in a small town. In summary, The Last Picture Show faced legal and public reactions due to its explicit content, leading to a federal court ruling in favor of its artistic merit. The film's struggle with censorship sparked important discussions about the role of art in society and the limits of censorship. The 1971 movie The Last Picture Show created controversy and sparked debates reflecting the changing societal standards of the time. This film, directed by Peter Bogdanovich, dared to challenge conventions by presenting mature themes and complex characters. Set in a small, dying town in Texas, it explores the lives of high school students and the older generation capturing the declining American West. The film's depiction of sexuality, alcohol consumption, and the harsh realities of life were considered taboo in the early 1970s. It prompted discussions about the representation of small-town America and the morality of its characters. Some critics argued that the film glorified immoral behavior, while others believed it realistically portrayed the struggles of people in such communities. The Last Picture Show also questioned the traditional Hollywood filmmaking style. Bogdanovich used long takes, natural lighting, and a documentary-like approach to create a more authentic and raw cinematic experience. This innovative technique was a departure from the polished and often idealized portrayals of American life in mainstream films. Moreover, the movie's exploration of themes such as aging, loneliness, and the loss of innocence resonated with audiences, leading to further debates about its societal impact. The film's unapologetic look at the imperfections and hardships of life forced viewers to confront uncomfortable truths about themselves and their communities. In conclusion, The Last Picture Show played a significant role in challenging conventions and contributing to the evolving societal standards of the 1970s. Its bold representation of mature themes and innovative filmmaking style sparked controversy and debates, ultimately leaving a lasting impact on American cinema. The 1971 film The Last Picture Show has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema, not only for its artistic achievements but also for its influence on storytelling and societal norms. Directed by Peter Bogdanovich, the film explores the lives of teenagers in a small, dying town in Texas during the early 1950s. The Last Picture Show was groundbreaking for its raw and authentic portrayal of adolescence and small town life. The film's depiction of sexuality, betrayal, and the harsh realities of growing up in a fading community challenged societal norms and pushed the boundaries of what was considered acceptable in mainstream cinema at the time. The film's artistic achievements are numerous, including its stunning black and white cinematography and its hauntingly beautiful score. 
The use of black and white adds to the film's sense of nostalgia and timelessness, while the score perfectly captures the melancholy and longing of the characters. The Last Picture Show also boasts impressive performances from its talented cast, including Jeff Bridges, Sybil Shepard, and Ben Johnson, who won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role as Sam the Lion. The film's impact on storytelling can still be felt today, as it paved the way for future filmmakers to explore complex and nuanced themes in their work. The film's influence can be seen in the works of directors such as Richard Linklater, who has cited The Last Picture Show as a major inspiration for his own film set in Texas. In conclusion, The Last Picture Show is a true cinematic masterpiece that continues to resonate with audiences today. Its artistic achievements, impact on storytelling, and influence on societal norms have solidified its place in film history as a timeless classic. Justified. I will probably be making cheeseburgers for your grand.